Hi, I'm Nathaniel, and this is what you need to know today. I'm going to be talking about 2021, my thoughts, cryptocurrency, and so forth. But before we do that, I'm going to tell you this. I am an electrician. That's what I do for an occupation. I am not a financial advisor. These are my own opinions. So if you're looking for any of those services, please go see somebody who does that for a living. So anyways, with that out of the way, 2021, we're in 2021 now. So why am I talking about this? I, I can't really, you know, I, I, I've done a lot of research. I can't get anybody to like really give a really good explanation. It doesn't sound super complicated out there. So, and I'm not even sure if, if this explanation that you're getting right now is, is really even the best explanation. And so, you know, cryptocurrency is not necessarily like a new thing on the block, right? It's been around for, it's been around for a little while better part of 10 years or so. But it hasn't really caught on until the last five years. It, it's really kind of, particular ones like Bitcoin, everyone seems to know Bitcoin, but there's a bunch of actual cryptocurrencies that are out there. And I was thinking to myself, you know, what's the relationship between cryptocurrency and what we do now? Well, and, and from a, a very novice standpoint, uh, I was thinking to myself, if you buy something, right, the bank does is they'll send an electronic format of payment to that person, right? So if you accept a, you take a credit card, you know, money's withdrawn and is digital format is sent. It's not like they take wheelbarrows of cash and roll it around from one bank or one location to another, right? They just don't do that. So they do it in electronic format. So I start thinking, well, hmm, that's interesting because that's basically really what in a, in a way, from what I can understand, and if, if, if I'm off base here, no problem, correct me, like I said, I'm, I'm a novice, but that sounds a lot like cryptocurrency. So why do we have this big idea that cryptocurrency is this like weird thing out in outer space that we just don't understand? Because in a lot of ways, it's, it's kind of very similar, um, but in a lot of ways, it's very different as well. So from my research, it's, you know, cryptocurrency is uh, not centralized to a bank, right? So banks don't control it. Governments don't control it. It's basically controlled by all, all the collective group of people that own it, right? So the collective people, the collective group of investors that are invested in that currency are really the people that manipulate or control the currency, not a government. There's some, I guess, some control in that way, in the sense that um, you're not affected by inflation like you are with the dollar, right? So that goes back to what I initially said about the money, right? So in U.S. government and governments around the world have pumped trillions of dollars into their societies. I know the United States has pumped over two trillion, probably three trillion dollars by December. Uh, we just don't maybe know it yet. <laughs> But, you know, they've, they've pumped a lot of money. This is a lot of money. Uh, one report had mentioned that that would equal to 22% at $2 trillion, equal to 22% of all the cash that's floating out there. That's a lot of money. And so what does that do? Well, that like, that causes huge inflation issues. So we really haven't even seen the effects of that inflation. But what is inflation? It's like basically like you go to buy a case of uh, Coke or whatever, right? And it used to cost you three bucks to buy that case of Coke. Well, now it's going to cost you four bucks because it's almost a quarter more, right? So that means you're working, you're not getting paid any more money, right? But things are costing you 22% more money. And, and for some things, you've probably already noticed that when you go to the grocery store. So I think that's why there's like this big movement or push towards cryptocurrency. I personally am looking at Digibyte because it's super inexpensive and it's from a technology standpoint, it definitely seems to be somewhat on the same playing ground, but had a much, much more affordable price to point to get into. And so that's going to be my next move is to buy some of this cryptocurrency just to 
to have a little bit of a balance in my portfolio between stocks and some crypto. But you know, banks do is like they loan out your money, they make money off of your money and they charge a lot of fees with this. And so cryptocurrency is supposed to be a way in which the fees are less. It doesn't cost you as much money to send money and to transfer money and do wire transfers and all this kind of stuff. And one of the big advantages, like I really actually like this, is that you can trade cryptocurrency 24-7, 365 days a year. So there's no, you know, there's no days off, you know, there's no holidays or there's no government, government days that no one seems to be working. So you can trade it whenever you want. If you want to wake up at one o'clock in the morning and trade some cryptocurrency, you can do that. If you guys have any comments or you're an expert in um, digital currency, please feel free to share your comments down below. YouTube community, we're all about learning from each other. And so just make sure you uh, make some comments down there and uh, we'll, we'll learn from that. So we'll see you on the next one. And thanks for watching what you need to know today.